Hi everyone. Uh, welcome back to the second installation of the uh, abandoned videos of this uh, resort marina and everything like that. Here we are, we've just come down to the uh, old golf clubhouse, what I believe it was. There is um, a few buildings here. This is the big pool. Looks like for the resort guests and that sort of thing. They could just stroll down the hill a bit and jump in here and there's a big kitchen I'm about to go into in a minute. Um, yeah, all the golf clubhouse. It's got all the old championship stuff still sort of on the walls and that function rooms and that sort of thing. It's a bit of a distance from the resort itself, but it's still pretty cool down here. Um, the big swim up bar there is pretty awesome. All the seats and that. You could imagine it back in the day. 25 years ago how it would have been. Everything in there. There's still a lot of stuff in there, but it's just been a bit destroyed and that bit, a few vandals and sorts of things like that. But all the big fridges and everything and that are still there. Pretty awesome. You would think they'd close them shutters up before they put it in. There have been a few fires, maybe someone set fire in here. Or it got set on fire and they just left it. It's, um, that looks like the old bar in there, like for keep all the drinks and that in. Maybe a bit of a kitchen in there as well. But, you know, that's what it was. Here's the amenities block over here. Just your basic ones. I'm guessing back in the day there would have been a fair few people down at this thing. Would have been pretty cool. Having a few tins and swimming up to the bar all day. Things like that. But it's all just getting a bit overgrown now. So... Still in pretty good nick though, like everything's still really good. That's the racket club there. There must have been a racket court out there set up. Just coming through now. There's about four or five buildings here. This is coming down into like the maintained areas. There's still people living down a bit further on in some of the old units and things like that, like the self-contained units. There's um, people still living down in those. But these are all the old buildings. That This is in the, look, it's the foyer where you come in for the reception of the old golf club, it appears to be. There's all the old golf memorabilia here. You'd come in and get all your stuff for the, and go play your golf. Yeah, you can see there the water damage is pretty, pretty bad through this whole thing. In the resort that I'll get to a little bit later, the water damage is crazy from the cyclones and that sort of thing. Everything in here is still... Yeah, it's like no they've just left it's crazy so i found a few things from 2008 so it's still you know it's still been 15 years since anyone's been in here but the full commercial kitchen still in here it's pretty crazy all the stuff it's full set up you know full commercial kitchen set up there you can see it's pretty wild but then now we've moved along the resort this is it, this is the entrance still. It's still happening, it's all going ahead here. That still gets maintained and everything like that. You'll just to see that, you'll see the state of the internals and it's too far gone. I don't know what they're gonna do with it, if they're gonna try and save it, what's gonna happen. It's beautiful out here. Looks like it's still in operation. You know, it's got, someone obviously comes down here and maintains it a bit so it's pretty awesome to see they um yeah look at the size of it all the big drive up bays and that it's sort of been yeah it gets looked after a tiny bit but if as further you get back into the resort it just gets more and more destroyed really like look at it down here would have been awesome back in the day big massive ceilings and all that sort of thing now we're inside here. You can see this is in the in the hallways and that with the lifts. This is where the water damage is. It's just crazy through here. You got to watch out wherever you're stepping. The roof's falling down. Everything gets a bit gets a bit hectic. Just going to show you through everything in here. Got the vent storeroom there. Couldn't get in that one. All the air conditioning rooms and let's look at the water damage from all the cyclones. Mm -hmm. 
Butler Workstation. You know, it was a f five star resort, so you can imagine all the hustle and bustle going on here back in the day. Getting all the room service done and that. The furniture is all still in here. The wicker, the wicker furniture in here is crazy. There's mountains of wicker furniture. It just, it's just crazy. So much of it. You can see here all the water damage. Everything's sort of destroyed. The whole lot. Just like, it's just copped an absolute beating. But these are some of the uh, the lower end rooms. You'll see as we get further on the video, I go up the other end and there's some proper high roller sort of suites up there. They're real nice marble everything. Big, big spas and that overlooking the water and things like that. These are just the lower end rooms. But they're still really nice, you know. Good water views out here. You can imagine before all those trees grew up, it would have been super nice out here. You can see there, just everything's collapsing. It's all happening there. Got the maid closet here. Imagine that, full of sheets and things. Probably done a bit of ironing and everything in here. A lot of stuff still here. Mattress protectors, all that sort of thing. It's all just still sitting in here. Some old time sheets and that there. But this is interesting. I was finding these all over the place. I'm pretty sure they're like simunition from there's been the army or the police or someone's been doing war games in here. It's absolutely covered in this end. You can see them there, they're little 9mm bullets, paint rounds. If anyone knows who would have been in here, just throw a comment down below and let me know if you've heard it. There's, you'll see the paint all over the walls. As the video goes on, you'll see the paint everywhere. You could see where people have been crouching down and they've come around the corner and they've shot and the walls are just covered in paint in both colours. So there's definitely been a few people in here playing around. I don't think it'll be anyone civilian wise. Just definitely army or police or someone. This is their reception, the walk in. When you first walk through the big doors, this is what you come into here. Still, this is a really good condition area. Like nothing's smashed out really. The Everything's held together. This big pool table is still here, big 12 footer pool table. You know, it just blows my mind. It's crazy to see all this stuff in here still. 20 years later, it's still just sitting here like it was. But yeah, everything's here. Down the hallways. Here's uh, one of the bars. There's three or four bars along this bit for the... Um, there's a golf pro shop downstairs. It's got its own bar. There's a little sunken bar here, which is really cool. It's like sunken into the side. The, um, you can tell it's from the, the, the 90s with all the lattice getting around and things like that. But what a cool place it would have been back in the day. Come in here and have a few beers while you're waiting for your room and that sort of thing, all your rounds of golf. Would have been pretty cool. All with the big water views. I'm guessing none of those trees would have been that high back then, so you would have been able to see the water quite easy. You can see it through the gaps there. Most of the rooms are up higher, so you do get a water view. This is going down to the golf pro shop. Um, and there's another big bar down here as well. There's a few creepy things down here. Lots of snakes. Someone had been sleeping down here overnight. This is a big old garden. Still had all the trees and that in there. A few big snake skins down here. There's a few snakes in this one as well. Down up, up to the left up here, he goes into a real dark um, corridor, with all concrete where they used to move everything along. Right, this is the old golf pro shop. It says, it says on the sign, that's the golf pro shop. These are just all rooms in the back there. This is where someone had been living for a while in one of these back rooms. I don't know whether I'd be living in here in the dark, but off to another, another bar. There's three or four bars in this one. So this is off to another bar. Bay Marie there, I'm guessing it's maybe something to do with the golf club or even just where you would dine. 
and that sort of thing. It's just a weird setup how it is here. It looks more like of a bar -y sort of thing. And you just come down here and then sit down the end here and have a few beers, I think, after your golf and that sort of thing. It would have been great to see in the day, I reckon. But we got the spike bar there. Pretty cool. All the fridges are still there. Everything's still there in this one. Pretty wild. But a nice little bar for all the golf dudes and whoever's down there. Maybe the hotel guests would have come down and seen it. But all the all the usual stuff you see in these higher end hotels. Glass planes everywhere. They've held up so well all these glass these panes of glass, they're all over through here, but the water's just getting to everything now. But you can see out there, there's a, that's a function center in there. We're gonna go in there in just a second. It's a massive big function center. This is just how you would get in there and how I think all the hotel staff would move around these back corridors. But this is a, there's all the gardens down there they used to had looks like they half finished some of that stuff like the concrete's still getting poured in there had everything sticking out this is just a big auditorium in here through the massive doors I'm not sure what functions they would have had here back in the day but they definitely would have been some big ones I reckon as you can see it's just it's absolutely just been left as it was in here like those ceilings are so high that you can't, the video doesn't do it justice, they're massive. But you can see all the furniture is all just piled up in there. All the bifolds are there still. There's just, what a function room, like it's massive. You can't see how big it is, it's absolutely giant. There's three or four rooms, all separated by the bifolds. And they've just looks like they've pushed everything into the center there and said that's it. It's crazy it all just sits here. Wasting away to nothing. That's out of there now. I just come back out those front doors and now there's the uh, around the side. It's pretty overgrown down through this sort of stuff. And it's getting a little bit more decrepit as we go along the resort. It gets further and further away from where they've maintained everything. And I've seen a couple of really old videos of it after it first got abandoned. It's definitely, the grounds are definitely in better shape now. Someone's come through and cleared a lot of it, but the, the buildings are definitely in far worse shape than what they were. This here, is, this is going out in that little garden bit we are at before. Pretty cool. Just going to go up the stairs here. Look, there you go. More of that simunition everywhere paint all over the walls this is the big storage this furniture storage floor i named it this floor is just covered in beds chairs tables what whatever you can think of it's here all just sitting there but another one of the rooms they're all very similar down this end you've got the bath there with the little bifolds out so you can get the view just a, a basic room they are quite expensive, I think they are about $300 a night back in the day. How's the view on that one though? You know, some are beautiful, these higher ones. But 300 a night in the mid-90s is a fair bit for a hotel room, I reckon. So... You can see here, everything just laying about. All the stuff, more, they've definitely had, you know, someone's just been shooting these to see if they could break them. They've had a fair little war games in here. Be interesting to know who it actually was, what they were doing. But, yeah, the whole place down, down this end is covered in paint. And some munition rounds all over the floor and everything like that. But you can see here, the, the water damage is getting, it's getting bad. It's pretty bad down this end. It just gradually gets worse and worse. Another little storage one. I don't know what they were thinking. They've just pushed all the furnitures into a couple of rooms. and 
things like that. It just seems to be what they've done. You can see a heap of furniture in here. Up here we go. It's pretty, pretty ordinary up here. All the roofs caving in and that sort of thing. These are definitely the biggest suites down this, this corner of the building. You can see the different room shapes and that. They're the biggest suites, like the, the sort of the higher end suites, I would say. Heaps bigger rooms. Everything's bigger. Like the bathrooms are getting bigger. Glass shower screens in the 90s, like pretty cool. You can see here, it's just, it's all falling apart, it's all done. The water damage, it's from the site, these are right on the end that the cyclones would come in on. So they've just been absolutely smashed through here. Try and get you a bit of a picture of the view. Like pretty awesome out there with the water and everything like that. Well, here we go on the other side. You can see there how bad it's getting. There's power everywhere. There's a heap of stuff coming down in the middle there. These are the two very end apartments that join each other. They're both massive. They're like, I would say that they're penthouse sort of apartments. But they were really big. Big bathrooms, big spas in some of them. Pretty cool, really. You know, double vanities. They had a lot going on there. But all with the little nooks out to the side. You know, with the big view out the side there. Look at that one. Some more of these larger rooms. Pretty cool out here. This one's in really good nick. This is that the very last room on the end. You can see like what a, you know, they got the spa overlooking the water there. It's a bigger one again than all the other rooms. It's uh, pretty awesome in this one. All marble tiles. This is probably the pick of the bunch. I and thanks everyone uh, for watching that. If anyone uh, wants to see some more, give it a like and subscribe. I'm going to go to a few other ones, maybe out the islands, check them out, and uh, there'll be a fair bit more spearfishing and fishing on this channel as well. So if you're into any of that, like and subscribe.